good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode here on european confessions the following story that you're going to be listening to it comes from a translation of a narration that i received the translation reads like this hello my brother how are you i am a young woman who is currently staying here in the uk and i am staying here with the rest of my half sisters and some of my cousins as well well my mom she was quite an intelligent woman but there was something that was going on in the family my mom she struggled a lot to keep a man it seemed as if there was one amongst her relatives who was using some tokologies on her so that she can always be unlucky when it came to men that she was dating so my mom she gave birth to her kids but with different fathers my mom was a medical doctor she was a medical doctor who was operating at this other very big hospital that is back home in zim as for my mother my mother she was also a nurse a well experienced nurse she was a matron at that time so what happened was that my grandmother when my mother suddenly passed away that was when my grandmother started to lose your mind the things that happened when we were at the graveyard it was truly terrifying what happened was that after my mother had died then my grandmother she was like not showing any remorse at all we then went to the cemetery where we were supposed to have the burial of my mother but as the pastor was like busy giving out the last words and the verses before we could start burying my mother then my grandmother she acted as if she was impatient with the whole process she just wanted the pastor to say the closing prayer so that the burial can begin so as per our custom like when the coffin has been laid into the grave then all of the relatives are supposed to come and pick up some soil and then they will pour the soil into that grave but as for my grandmother she totally refused to do that part when we were returning back from the graveyard my grandmother she was in this other taxi this taxi it was full of women that were from the same church that we used to attend when we were still back home then we saw that the taxi had stopped when we saw that the taxi had suddenly stopped and everyone was getting off that taxi that was when we had my grandmother laughing she was laughing as if the whole thing that had happened the death of her daughter was quite funny she laughed so hard by the time that we reached the place where we were staying in mount pleasant it was even worse my grandmother was laughing then finally she confessed she confessed when everyone was still there she confessed all the evil things that she had done my grandmother said that at that same hospital where she was working there was this other woman and when that woman was about to go on her leave my grandmother spoke with that woman who told her that she knew a very powerful traditional healer since my grandmother wanted to become very rich this woman said you can come with me to my village then you can have a discussion with this traditional healer and see if the healer is going to assist you well that was when my grandmother took some off days then she went she drove with that woman all the way to that woman's village once they were there my grandmother she was then given some charms and these charms that she was given she was given a basket and she was told that she was supposed to return back home with that basket and she had to place it in an area where no one was going to touch it so my grandmother thought that the perfect spot was to climb up this other very big tall mango tree and she then tried tied that tall mango tree so my mom when she heard that my grandmother was driving into the yard my mom waited for her mom our grandmother in the kitchen but when she saw that my grandmother was not getting out of the car my mom just remained there in the kitchen then she saw that her own mother got out of the car then my grandmother she then started climbing that mango tree where she then hung up that basket that she had been given by that traditional healer as part of her rituals so that she can start making money so my 
so my mother then went outside just when my grandmother was climbing down the tree she then asked her mother what was going on my grandmother then said that all these things that she had tied in that mango tree the basket it was part of her prayers but grandmother as she was confessing she said that our mother then said but we are pentecostal we do not do those type of prayers so what are you trying to say my grandmother confessed and she said that it was when my mother said that we are pentecostals we do not do such prayers that was when she thought of actually crucifying her own daughter because she was afraid that maybe she was going to go around telling people that her own mother was now a ritualist well my grandmother said when she went to her bedroom then she saw that there was a snake a snake suddenly appeared it was just hanging on the walls in the air then my grandmother spoke with that snake and then the snake went and it attacked my mother my grandmother said that she actually saw the snake as it was moving around the house but it was using the walls as it was moving from room to room moving through the walls and she said that the snake then bit my mother and when my mother woke up then she saw that in her own bedroom there was this other man who was a spirit man at Okoloshi. so my mother's bedroom it was close to our grandmother's bedroom and then when my grandmother finally saw that her own daughter had passed away that was when she pretended as if she was surprised about the whole thing that had happened she then started screaming and called the rest of the neighbors who came and when they came they saw that our mother had passed away and then they told us that my mother she had suffered from a heart attack and that is how she had died but that was not the case because my grandmother was actually confessing that she had actually crucified her own daughter so that she can start making money but she could not make that money because that basket it was not supposed to be seen at that time when she was performing all of those rituals and she thought that if she was going to silence her daughter once and for all and she thought that the rituals were going to work out in her favor but unfortunately my mother she then passed away and when my mother passed away my grandmother she started losing her mind maybe she was seeing our mother's spirit we do not know so when the rest of the relatives then started returning back to their own homes then we started suffering we suffered a lot and our grandmother she was now actually abusing us the first time that i found out that this was what our grandma was now doing to us one night when i woke up i then felt that in my blankets there was something that was smelly and there was another woman who was with me in the blanket when i removed the blanket from my face i then saw that it was my grandmother who was cuddling me up and she was not wearing any clothes and she had feces that she had smeared all over her face my room was smelling like a toilet and when i tried to scream my grandmother then said that everything that was happening it was quite normal at first i just remained quiet but with time the rest of our relatives they found out that this was what our grandmother was doing to us sometimes she would wait for us to fall asleep then she would come to our spare bedrooms and then she will start to play with our private parts when one of our uncle who was in the uk found out that this was what our grandmother was doing to us they never reported the issue to the police but they said it was far much better for us to be moved out of zim than to be taken to the uk that is how we ended up being here in the united kingdom but my brother as for me I have suffered i have suffered a lot because of those rituals that our grandmother did on us oh dear listeners right there was a narration of that message that was sent to me by one of our dear sisters yo